Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am back with a, another Q&A that I received on my Ninja Coffee Bar. In case you didn't see that video, go back and take a look. As you can see, I did forget to show you something in that video that the actual water reservoir comes right off so you can clean it. So what is the Q&A today is how to clean the carafe. So we are going to do that. I just twisted it um, and dumped the remaining water in the sink. And now I'm gonna show you how to clean your carafe, which mine looks pretty foggy and yucky. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. On the carafe, the question is, how do you clean it? Right where the travel mug size is, you fill up with straight vinegar. So let me see if I can put you in a good spot so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn that around. You only wanna go with the white distilled vinegar to the travel mug size. You just untwist it like I told you, dump your water out. And we are gonna fill this with some white distilled vinegar. This is a pretty big bottle. I used a lot of it for canning. And now we are going to fill it up with vinegar. Straight to the line. Okay, after you fill it up to the line, let me bring it closer. Once you fill it up to the carafe line, you wanna fill it with the remaining amount of water. Um, and you can look this up on ninja.com they also tell you how to clean it but this is the rules that i follow uh vinegar to the carafe line water to the max fill line so let's fill that up with water it didn't specify on any particular water hot or cold i am just filling it with cold water i need to turn it around so i don't go past the max fill line do not go past the max fill line. Okay, I think we're right on the money. I will show you. I filled it up the rest of the way with water to the max fill line. And then what we're gonna do, I may have to put you this way so that you can see. I'm gonna put this back on my machine twist it until it locks and then we are going to put it on carafe the button right here and we are going to hit the clean button now my clean button wasn't on um, your clean button will usually flash at you and tell you if your machine is dirty and ready to be cleaned but I am going to clean the whole machine and also the carafe after you run the cycle of the vinegar water, if it doesn't look like it came out very clean, maybe you might have some hard water, um, you could re-dump it right back in and run that process one more time. But if it looks good and it's clean to you, what you then want to do is you want to run about three cycles um, through the machine of just... Uh, water no other chemicals nothing but that you want to do about three or four um, just water to the max line and um, that's pretty much it so I'm gonna let you see that that vinegar and water is running through the whole system and the light is blinking currently I'm trying to make sure you can see that um, if you use it a lot um, that light will automatically light up. It'll blink, which will tell you it's time to clean it. Um, this was the next question I got is how I clean the Ninja Coffee Bar on this Q&A series that I'm doing. Um, so my light was not on, but we're going to clean it together. So as soon as it's done running this cycle, I will show you what it looks like. I turned the camera back on. It's not done at all. But I just wanted you to hear and see. 
This cough a ninja bar does like burst. If you hear it, listen. And there it is. It's cleaning the machine um, thoroughly. And I will bring you back when it's done. We are coming down to the end with the water. I am just making room in the sink. comes down to the end like that, it will make a lot of racket. We are almost at the end of the water cycle. Did it take long? Literally a minute or two. And if you're anything like me and OCD, honestly, you could re-dump that back into here and rerun the process again. But don't forget, you're not going to want your coffee to taste like vinegar. So you're going to want to do at least three to four cycles of cold water in here and just keep running it through until you feel as if you got rid of all the uh, vinegar smell. Because you definitely don't want that in your coffee. But it's down to the end. And that is how I clean the actual Ninja. The whole system not just a craft. This is mainly the system, which is this. The water that runs through. Um, like I said, if your light's not blinking, then you don't have to clean it. Um, I made the light blink because I wanted to show on this next Q&A how to clean the actual... Um, I hope this is not blurry. Um, on how you clean your actual Ninja system. I will show you how the water reservoir comes off again as soon as this is done because do be careful it will be hot. Pretty sure that the light stops blinking once the process is done. So we're almost there. Now cleaning the coffee pot, if it's really bad and stained, there's a couple different techniques that you can use to really clean that. There's the beeping telling you that it's done. And that's it. It stops beeping. The clean light goes off. So, let me see if I can get this off one hand, just like that. Just turn it. And there you have it. This is how you clean the whole system of your Ninja coffee bar, which is the vinegar to the travel mug size, which is right there, and the rest water to the max line, which is right there if you can see that. So, there is our vinegar and water. And that, all you do is take this, put it on the grooves, and then you just turn it. You can have it sideways to dump your water in. You can turn it and put it on like this so that you don't have to see your cup size or your water line, but that is actually how it goes. And now the actual machine is clean. Uh, me personally, I think I'm going to run it one more time. Um, I want to see how uh, the pot comes out again, but I would just recommend doing it at least twice. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, and then don't forget to, what was I just going to say? Ugh, one of them days. Okay. Run it once. That's what they recommend. Me, I say run it again two times. Mine hasn't been clean in a while. My light never comes on. So for me personally, um, I am definitely just going to take the pot. Let's see if I have to loosen this at all. I'm not really sure. And I'm going to pour the water. Vinegar and hot water. Back into the top. 
This is just me, my preference. You can do it one time. I want it a little extra clean because it didn't take nothing but a minute or two. Put the carafe back down. The carafe is looking better as well um, as far as being cleaned with the vinegar and water. We're going to hit the clean button again. I'm just really doing this for my own OCD to clean it twice. And so I can show you how it's done again. All I did was vinegar to the travel mug and filled the water to the fill line in the beginning. Ran one cycle by hitting the clean button um, and let it do its thing. Now what I did was once it was completely done, I took that hot water and vinegar and poured it back in the top here to let it clean the whole system one more time. Like I said, the choice is yours. You can just clean it once. You can clean it twice. Mine hasn't been cleaned in a while, so it's not going to hurt anything by running the vinegar and water one more time. And then I will start the process as soon as this is done of just running it with just regular clean water and um, I'm probably going to do that a handful of times so I make sure that it's clean. So that's the question that I got as far as how do you clean the actual um, Ninja. This is the Ninja coffee bar. I just showed you how to do it. Vinegar, distilled white vinegar to the travel mug size and then water to the fill line. Um, don't go over the fill line. And then you're just going to click your clean button. If it's not already on, you're just going to click it. And you're just going to let it run its cycle through the entire machine. Your choice. Do it once or you can do it twice. I'm doing it twice. Just to give you, it smells very vinegary-ish in here. Just to show you how I'm cleaning the actual uh, product again. Um, so that was the question. This will be the second video under the Q&A. Um, I guess people saw the Ninja uh, coffee bar um, review and what comes with it. And the next question was, how do I clean the actual system? So I wanted to do another quick video and show you how you can clean it which is just vinegar to the travel mug line, water to the max fill line, and hit the clean button. You can do it once, you could do it twice, twice should be kind of suffice. If you feel as if your carafe is not that clean, there's a couple different ways of doing that. You can use um, a non-hard abrasive um, brush like this with a little baking soda, soap, and a splash of vinegar, and scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. Or you can just use hot soapy water and uh, use a non, again, you can hear that, it's pretty soft, a non-abrasive brush to get the carafe clean. So I didn't think that I had to do a Q&A on the actual carafe. The carafe is simple. The majority of the time, the vinegar and hot water will clean the carafe um, while it cleans the whole system but if it's not clean enough for you you can do uh, two tablespoons of baking soda which some people recommend and um, I think it was a splash or two of vinegar of course it's gonna bubble up you take the brush scrub 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 the inside um, I don't know how I feel about the baking soda vinegar deal it just bubbles up um, I normally will just do a little vinegar uh, Dawn just soap with a non-abrasive brush scrub it thoroughly and um, outside and inside and then I completely thoroughly rinse it quite a few times and that should have your pot sparkling so this is the second video in the Q&A um, on, on my review to the Ninja coffee bar and I wanted to hop on because I did forget to show how this right here twists and comes off. Um, so you can get underneath of it. You can clean it. So, yeah. 
Second question came in, how do you clean your Ninja? Uh, the whole system, they didn't ask about the pot. Um, and that's how you clean it. Uh, vinegar to the travel mug, just regular water to the max fill line, run it on the clean system. Um, you can repeat the process if necessary, if you feel as if you have hard water or you think it's extremely dirty. Um, as a special little treat, I'm just throwing in how to clean the carafe. If you don't think the vinegar and water cleaned it thoroughly, you can try the baking soda vinegar um, and scrub it that way. Or you can use hot soap and water with a splash of vinegar with a non-abrasive brush. This brush works great to get in all the little cracks and crevices. For an example, I'm going to point to it. There is the part you put down for your cup. Sometimes you may get coffee in that. This is fantastic. It's not abrasive and it will clean the carafe and um, your little stand for your cup. So there you have it. It's all done just about. The light's still blinking. Just waiting for it to stop. And wanted to do it twice so that you saw how I did it. Untwist this. Fill white distilled vinegar to the travel mug line. Not over it. Fill this with water to the max fill line. Please do not go over. Hit your clean button, which is right there, and run the cycle like you just saw I did, except I did it twice. This looks crystal clear, if you can see that. I don't know how that's showing up on the camera. And the other trick was usually the vinegar and water will clean the pot. It's super hot water. You can let that sit for a bit. Uh, don't forget, once you clean this with vinegar, at least run um, spring water or filtered water uh, through it three or four times until you feel as if it's not going to have your coffee tasting like vinegar and it completely rinse the whole system out. So there you have it, guys. That's the second question on this Q&A for the Coffee Ninja Bar. Um, first one was the review and the second one was how to actually clean the whole uh, coffee ninja bar you can see it's leaving a little condensation up here because it's really hot water so I will have to wipe that off so it it gets piping hot cleans very very well it's very easy to do and um, this is the second video in this q and I hope that helps anyone you know everyone um, who posted that question which was awesome question um, if you have any other further questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget that I also told you if you don't feel as if the vinegar and water cleans your carafe clean enough, little Dawn just soap, splash of vinegar, or you can just use soap and water, scrub the inside with a non-abrasive brush. I do hear of people using baking soda and vinegar. That's your choice if you decide to do that, but... Yeah, you just untwist this like that and it cleans the whole machine thoroughly through and through. It's super hot water, so be careful not to get burned. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you are going to enjoy this new little series that I'm going to be putting out. Um, if you have a question, uh, leave it down below in the comment section. If you're following me on Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It on Instagram, you can uh, leave a question over there. You can just DM me and I will make a video on it. Um, but yeah, that was pretty easy to get our machine sparkling. So thank you to all the new subscribers that we have here. Welcome. This is going to be a channel of a little bit of everything. Um, there are, this is my third, uh, well, this is a Q&A that I'm doing. For the channel I have a gardening series that you can go back and check out from beginning to end if you've never gardened before um, with us all being quarantined um, there will be a lot of material for you to watch and what else so let's see the gardening series and I also am in doing a series to back to basics uh, there will be a banana bread that will be coming up and today's is a Q&A that is on how you clean the Ninja coffee bar that I gave a full review on. Um, also, I gave a review on um, the blender that I bought separately to go with it. 
So I hope this was helpful, helpful to everyone. Vinegar and water. Dogs are going to start barking. We had a storm here earlier. Now they want to go out. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, smash the like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you have a Ninja Coffee Bar, if you clean it differently, please leave that down below. And um, I hope that you're enjoying this. If you have any other questions or anything else you want me to review, because like I said, I have a ton of Ninja products and people are asking a lot of questions. So you may see a lot of Ninja um, Q&As. But I will do the best that I can. And um, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.